for today's tech roundup. They put this interview in my inbox because you know we're all on social media. We all take pictures. They're like, oh, Justin takes all these selfies. Well, <laughs> you think about your profile pics and maybe not giving them a lot of thought. We've got Ann Pierce here joining us this morning from Photo Feeler. That is your website, Ann. And good yep. morning. Thanks for stopping good by. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Very important with profile pics. People don't think about it. They change their profile pics. Fergie a lot. <laughs> um, but talk a little bit about what it means. Sure. So photos create very strong impressions mm -hmm. instantly. So people should should care a little bit more. Maybe think a little bit more before changing their photo. Um, you know, people Google you. Maybe an acquaintance. Maybe a job recruiter. And you know, they're forming this impression instantly. And you know, you just need to care a, a little bit more about a your profile. A little bit more. <laughs> so the drunken picture of you and your friends on a boat in your bikini, probably not the best for a profile right, right. pic, right? And it's not just about first impressions either, because yeah. that little profile photo that's next to your comments and statuses actually changes the way that people perceive the words that you're saying. Yeah, that's interesting. Talk about the first impressions of somebody looking at your picture and instantly uh, an impression is formed, right? Yes, but even even your friends, you have to worry about because if you are asking your friends for a favor, yeah. they're more likely to help you if they're getting a good vibe from oh, your photo. Oh, so okay, you need okay. to worry about that as well. I think, I mean, you, okay, it, it, it seems like it's common sense and you think, don't most of us really have a good idea of which pro profile pics are okay? But a lot of sure. us, I guess, don't, right? No, not nearly as well as we think. There's actually research that says that we tend to favor photos of ourselves that aren't our best, objectively. Interesting. Yeah. One reason for that is because we actually use different parts of our brain when we're looking at pictures of, uh, pictures of ourselves huh. versus pictures of other people. Interesting. So when you see a photo of yourself, you're literally not seeing the same thing that other people are seeing. Wow, I did not know that. And I believe we have uh, a couple of tips. We're going to talk about yeah. taking a better profile Absolutely. pic. So kind of some before and after, maybe some side-by-side -side pics of, of our model, who's right yeah. over there, <laughs> our, our yeah, little yeah. friend here. I thought he was going to be live on TV. Sure. Okay, so talk about artificial versus natural. Sure. You have to go to photofeeler.com to be for, for to know for sure exactly what your photos are saying about you. But one great tip is natural light. Natural light. Natural okay. light, way more flattering than most other kinds of light, and um, puts you in a, a it creates a positive mood. Whereas a lot of fluorescent light kind of kind of creeps There's a little, yeah. <laughs> you know. The so. fluorescent's not good on anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. So natural light is really flattering. Okay. So what's another tip that you can light. have? Avoid selfies, particularly, sorry, particularly the ones. <laughs> Why are you saying sorry to me? Because <laughs> you're not the selfie king. Well, well, it's really the ones where you're holding your, your yeah. arm out like this because it um, the camera is too close to your face and actually creates some facial distortion. Interesting. So it throws your proportions out a little bit. It's not what you actually look like. So. And, and also, I, I would guess this is right, photofeeler.com, but... But uh, the camera's not as good when you do the, the selfie one. Like the camera's no. better on the other side on a lot of cameras right, on right, phones, right? That, right? That, is, that is completely true, yeah. yeah. So, so you should really try to get a stand if you can put it right. on a timer, or you can even buy a little remote thing. Right. So you can set they it up. They have timers and then, on the iPhone and then cameras press. now. Too. Yeah, and yeah. We're about to wrap up, but quickly, this is one of my favorite ones. And this is one that I ascribe to. And thankfully, you finally told me <laughs> this is real, right? The chin forward and down. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So all of us have trouble with this from time right. to time in photos. The little little double chin, yeah. So the trick: chin forward and down. And it, it, it feels funny. You're but telling it, me you're preaching to the choir, <laughs> sister. I've always. It looks great. It creates a very that. clear shadow line the whole way around the jaw, See? which Photofeeler data tells us makes you look more confident. Okay, so. and more information <laughs> at your website, right? Yep, Photofeeler.com. Photofeeler.com. You're from Boulder, so we yeah. appreciate you having someone locally, or at least in Colorado, uh, with a very cool website that'll help your profile pics. All right, Anne, thanks so much Thank for stopping you. by.